Welcome back everyone. You may be in a position where for some reason your iPhone just prompted you with this support.com slash Apple iPhone restore issue, whatever it is, and you may be freaking out about it or whatever. Now I'm going to tell you this is actually a very easy thing to fix and all you have to do is do exactly what this iPhone is telling you to do. You just have to pretty much plug your iPhone that you have into a computer, hopefully a Mac, that already has the Files app or iTunes you know, built in inside of it. So all you have to do is go ahead and grab your iPhone charger and plug it into your Mac or your PC if it already has iTunes installed. And when you do that, all you have to do is go ahead and plug in your iPhone to the bottom here and then you'll get prompted into some other things. You'll get prompted to check iPhone for an update, you see if you have a restore or whatever, and luckily for you, if you already have a backup for your iPhone, all you have to do is just restore from that backup and all of your information will still be there. Now for some reason, your iPhone, you know, you there's, there's no backup you made and anything like that, well, I would still not freak out because a lot of your stuff may still be stored up in some kind of cloud. So things like Snapchat, Instagram, Google Drive, your photos may be stored up in one of those things too. So even if you're in a situation where you know you don't have any backup, you know, on your iPhone, you can you can still utilize some of the cloud, you know, options for a lot of these applications like Facebook and stuff that may have already stored a lot of your stuff in the back end. So, so then all you have to do is wait until your iPhone is restored or if it's updated. Those two things are probably the things you have to do. And once you do that, your iPhone will come back to normal just like it is now, and you can use your iPhone as you normally would. So this is a very quick walkthrough. Again, you have to use Again, you have to go through the prompts on the you know files app or the iTunes store, but it's typically pretty easy and that's pretty much how to do it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comments section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.